If you had a PlayStation 2 when you were a kid, you probably hoped that Sony had made a wireless controller for the PlayStation 2. And it may look like they did, but they actually didn't. It, this one is a fake. And you know why it's a fake? It's very poorly made. No Sony branding on it. I'm going to pull it apart just to see how they actually made it and if it was actually good quality construction or if it's actually made very cheap. Now I've actually undone all the screws to make it all simple and easy to check it all out. Very simple circuit board tree. Let's turn it over, see what it looks like. Look how lazy that is. They didn't even trim the legs of the LEDs. Now let's open up the controller and check it out. <clears throat> so straight off the bat, you can see not much to it. Let's have a look at the other side of the circuit board. Oh, this one looks like it's had a tough life. Unless that's how it was done in the factory. It just looks like it's been corroded or poorly put together. Well, it would be good if Sony had made a wireless control, but unfortunately, as you can see, the aftermarket fake ones are just rubbish. 